I'm fully aware you're going to do what the coaches tell you to do, but if you, if you had your choice and you won the toss, you going defense first to try to get the crowd loud right definitely, away? Definitely going defense first. Most definitely. Hi, Jimmy. Trey, talk about the problems that a mobile quarterback like Anthony Richardson present to a secondary, because if you come up on him, he throws it over your head. If you don't come up, he runs. What are the problems he presents? Um, just being able to contain him, keep him in the pocket, uh, good scramble drills, um, just kind of being disciplined and not missing our gaps and, and just playing for the quarterback run as well, knowing that he's a great athlete and uh, able to move and run. So just understanding that it's kind of like two two uh, running backs back there. Uh, you can't just all bait on the one running back. You got a quarterback that guys can run as well. So. Just being able to play discipline and not and fit our gaps. What's your Trey Flowers self critique of how you've played? What do you what do you feel good about, and what are some things that you know, maybe you still want to try to get better at? Uh, I gotta get better at uh, everything in football. Uh, I, I constantly remind myself that I gotta keep improving on on anything. No matter if I had a, a great game, a decent game, or, or a bad game, it doesn't matter. I just go in and watch film, and and even if I had great coverage on that play, there's always something that you can get better at. So, literally every aspect of the game, from tackling to covering to to communicating to being a leader, is is something I always have to improve on. Uh, I'm, I'm a ball player. I play football, so I know I'm. I know I'm a good player. I know I can play, and I, I believe in myself 100. percent Trey, I know you're you're on to Florida, but we have we didn't talk to you after that pit game, which was a little bit of a roller coaster for you. Some of the ups and downs you went through. Have you ever been through a a game like that where you have the punt, and then you come up and have the sack in overtime, and just sort of the, just um, the individual ups and downs you had to get kind of fight through? As far as football, no. Uh, that was probably the most emotional game I've ever been in. But, I mean, I played baseball before. I mean, you, you make an error here, the ball's going to come right back to you. It's just certain things like that. Like, I've been in, put in situations before that, that I had to bounce back. I couldn't let it hang my head or, or whatever the case may be. I mean, I'm used to it. I've been doing it my whole life. So, that's just something that I've been prepared for uh, because of reps. So, I mean, it was just like another day in the park for me. So you kind of tapped into your baseball background after the punt. You're like, I got to make up for yeah, it. Yeah, I know I'm going to get another chance. Yeah. Most definitely, sir. Eric. Trey, I know you want to win every game. I know you approach every game the same way. But this Florida game, you've seen those guys the last four or five years. You know, what's this game mean to you? Oh, man, it's, this, this means a lot to me. I mean, we, we, we play a lot of people in the SEC. Every game means a lot to me. But uh, this is kind of more like it's what I came here for. Uh, that's what I stay for. Just, just a lot of stuff like that goes into it. So it means a lot more to me, especially uh, this is my last year, and I've been through the ups and downs here at Tennessee, the good, the bad, the ugly, and um, this is what I stay for, man. And it means so much. I can't, I can't explain it. I know, I know we all locked in, and it means a lot to the guys as well. So we just gonna prepare, and and our preparation gonna meet our opportunity. Also, are you the best blitzer of the defensive backs? Um, no, nah, I mean we all we all pretty much can can come off the edge and and got a self esteem about ourselves. But um, I mean I I do pride myself in how I, how I play football coming off the edge and, and blitzing. But I mean we all good at it pretty much. We all get coached up the same way, uh, kind of have the same techniques and all things like that. But I mean just a football player, I guess. A <laughs> couple things, Trey. How good have you guys gotten at disguising your coverages? Because a couple of weeks ago, Tamarian was talking about, uh, um, I, I think it was Wesley, actually, how you guys didn't give it up to Slovis in, in pre-snap. How much have you guys improved in that area? Uh, tremendously. Uh, that's what we worked on all season. And if you watch any film, uh, that gives the, the rush a couple more seconds to get there, uh, allowing us to make plays in the backfield, uh, a lot of coverage sacks, just a, just a lot of things like that, man, get off the field. Because most quarterbacks, I mean, a lot of quarterbacks, once their first read go away, you kind of they kind of got to look for their next options or whatnot. And by that time, hopefully the rush is getting there. So disguising is huge um, in any game. So that's definitely one of the biggest things we worked on.
And how exciting is it to see all the levels of the defense seemingly kind of coming together and being connected, that pass rush, helping you guys out, your coverage, helping them out, that kind of thing? Oh, uh, man, it's amazing. Uh, but we know what we put into it uh, off season. We know how hard we've been working, uh, the culture we've set, the, the details, how hard we pushed each other. So it's kind of just like, I mean, we prepared for it. We, we worked for it, so this we're going to get out of it. Trey, how would you assess Florida's receivers? Uh, I mean, we're, we're in the SEC, so I mean, we they have good athletes, of course, as, uh, almost every team does. So I mean, we got to go in there like they're the best receivers in the world. Um, they're fast, they're strong, they can play football. Uh, we just got to be the more physical team and, and play smart. Have a good day. We hear uh, when, when coaches talk about keeping quarterback contained like Anthony Richardson, they say gap integrity, rush integrity. For somebody that hasn't played defensive line before, why is that so, why is it so difficult just to stay in a lane? Uh, it's just us really being conscious and making a uh, consistent effort of keeping him in the pocket, like you said. But gap integrity is so important just because when you say the outside rushers get high and the inside is not on the same level, you create seam. So we just got to do a good job of just staying in unison and just making sure that we keep him corralled this week. Tyler, you being from Tennessee, what, what does this rivalry game with Florida mean to you? Uh, to be honest with you, I look at it like every other week. Tyler, how important is it to change things up uh, against a quarterback like Anthony Richardson and not just do one thing and, and, and really try to mix things up for him? I mean, yeah, he's a very skilled guy. I mean, um, just giving him different looks just to make him uh, read our defense and make him make the decisions and make him beat us. How do you guys feel about how you are coming into this game in terms of the pressure you're creating and the negative plays, things like that, that have seemingly uh, have really picked up this year? Uh, I mean, I think we're doing a, a good job up front as well as uh, everybody in the front seven. Just um, getting off the uh, – creating edges, you know, getting in the backfield. Um, I think we're just going to continue to be us and just continue to do what we do and not, nothing more, really. You had that big game at Pitt two weeks ago. I mean, how excited are you to get into another big game like this weekend and try to build upon what you got done on the road a couple of weeks ago? I mean, yeah, for me, I'm really excited, you know, just to give my, ch uh, my team the best chance to win. That's all I'm really concerned about. Um, however I get that done, however we get that done as a unit, we just want to just win and just come out on the best side. Tyler, on the pass rush, have y'all been able to disguise a little bit about what you're doing with some of the games that you play up front? Uh, yeah, we definitely try to mix it up and try to throw different looks at them just so they think that we're, they're getting one picture and then give them something different. So, yeah, we've definitely uh, done some new things and we'll definitely have a good game plan this week. You have lined up at times in pass rushing situations at tackle. Do you feel comfortable doing that? Do you feel like you've been effective doing that? Uh, very comfortable. And um, I mean, it's not really my decision or my say so to say if I've been effective, but I feel like I've done a good job. And, I'm, and there's definitely things I can work on and definitely things I'll be trying to change up this weekend uh, to give myself a chance to be successful. Florida's good at running the football. Obviously, they've got three backs. They kind of spread the spread the wealth around. Of course, Richardson can run as well. What have you seen from them on tape that, that make them a good running football team? And what are the challenges for you guys up front? I think uh, them being so successful with the run game, I think it all starts with the five offense linemen up front. Um, they do a good job playing behind their pads. I mean, they're real physical, real big guys. So, I mean, uh, it's going to be a challenge for us. But I think we're, we're ready for it, to be honest with you. What are you seeing in the progress of Amari Thomas there on that D-line with you guys? I mean, Big O, he just takes strides every week. I mean, it's, it's really cool to watch, just seeing him develop as a player, but also as a leader. I mean, he's doing a great job of helping lead our group. And I'm just really excited for the, the, his future, to be honest. I think he has a, a very bright one ahead of him. So you guys did a great job getting off the field on third down last week. Talk about the importance of that, especially against Florida. I mean, it'll be huge this week, just uh, putting him in weird situations, third and longs. A lot of second and longs to get uh, set up for that third and long. But I think it'll be essential for us to make it tough for them and um, make them have to make bigger plays. 
Tyree West got a little more run last week because of the game, but then he also got in early and, and they slid him inside some. What, what have you seen out of him? And, uh, you know, where's his game continued to grow dating back to when he got here in spring through now? I mean, Tyree's just a really persistent kid. I mean, he just wants to be better and he, he takes the time out and he's trying to do the little things that'll give him a better chance to do that. So just him being consistent and him growing up a little bit, I think that's been the difference in terms of his development. Y'all have a good one.